All right, time to put the twins in their place. Let's do this. Well, I got wing beat of a giant dragon in my opening hand. This is not a not a good opening hand. Well, actually, it's not that bad because I get to use Raigeki Break basically for free because I'll just ditch level eight Horus and then I have Graveyard in the fourth dimension to get him back. So that works out really nicely, actually. And then Mask of Darkness immediately gives me back Raigeki Break. It could definitely be better, but it could also be way worse. Uh, Raigeki Break. The earlier mentioned Raigeki Break, get wrecked. No Gemini Elf for you. All right, Blister, don't mess it up. This dude has Mirror Force, Limit Removal, and Lightning Vortex all in his hand. I feel like we're in a good place. That is honestly, Gaia Power did not help me at all, so I'm glad to see them waste Magic Jammer on it. Machiner Soldier. Okay, that sucks though. That sucks a lot. A lot, words. It's fine though, because we have, uh, He's got uh, Lightning Vortex in the back, and we have Mirror Force. Man, I wish I had Mirror Force. That really sucks. I'm surprised Heavy Storm isn't banned yet. This guy gets to attack twice, which is unfortunate. But on the good side, it's a weaker monster, so we should easily be able to destroy it. Blister has run out of a lot of cards, but we've run Luna and Leo now a little low. I was really hoping to draw Horus level 4 here. If only I had more copies of Horus level 4 in my deck. Well, here's hoping your trap isn't that good. Nice, nice. Alright, this is looking pretty in our favor right now. The loss of Mirror Force really hurts, but what are you going to do? Ooh, you don't have another good monster, okay. Feeling even better now. I'll go ahead and activate this for funsies. Because Blister might not activate it on his turn and we could get some free damage here. This dude really loves monks that summon. Okay, getting rid of, uh... Oh, I didn't realize they let you summon from your deck. Getting rid of Lightning Vortex was a good call there then. Ooh, Wing Karibo. You don't take damage because of his effect, right? Oh no, you still do for some reason. Oh, it's after the card is destroyed, stop damage. Well, that didn't really work out for you at all, did it, Little Karibo? Or Wing Karibo, rather. Little Karibo is the name of the guy that makes the Abridged series. My bad. Hmm, okay. That is unfortunate, but fine. Twin Celebs, I just saw their team name. I love getting to name your team and whatnot in these games, even though I don't do Tag Duels that much. Tag Duels is mostly a post-game thing. It can be pretty fun. All right, Trap Hole is fine. I was really hoping to draw a level monster. Alas, here we are. Morphtronic Slingin'. Slingin' you to a loss, idiot. Activate the effective Element Dragon. Yes. Is there a wind monster on the field? Oh, slinging is a wind monster. Sucks to suck, nerd. Because the monk is like, he's earth, isn't he? No, he's dark, actually. Not dust tornado. That's an acceptable loss, honestly. We've gotten a lot out of element dragon and dragon's rage. I was taking a drink of water as he was playing this card, but I'm mad. For anyone curious, I'm very mad. Widespread Ruin is a good defensive card. Well, if these idiots don't draw any monsters to summon, we could still really get away with this right now. I need to draw a Dust Tornado. Still wish I had Stamping Destruction, like, real bad right now. If they don't summon any monsters and we can get some more Summoner Monk attacks... I wish he had summoned a summoner monk in attack mode. Ah, nope. Slingshot. Well, trap hole, though. It's fine. I forgot I had that. What does this do? That's a really good card. 
He gets to add a Morphtronic to his hand and negate Trap Hole. Dang. Well, he's going to get hit with Widespread Ruin now, though. I'm definitely... I wish he had summoned Summoner Monk in attack mode. The face down one. It would have switched itself to defense, and then I could switch it to attack here, and we could get two attacks in. I am not getting lucky with my monster draws. Imagine how different this could have been if I had ever drawn a decent monster. But you know what? I can do this right here. I'm going to have to lose... Well, I don't have to lose Graveyard in the fourth dimension, but that's what I'm going to choose to do. Because I want to keep Wing Beat to hopefully... Oh, Arm Dragon level 3 isn't level 4. It only lets you summon a level 4 monster. Dang it. Dang it. Still, Dark Valkyria will be really good here because we can use Dark Cal uh, Valkyria's effect. I wanted to get Arm Dragon level 3 there so I could get Arm Dragon level 5 and then use Wing Beat. Oh, well. Still fine. We can just chip you down to where Messenger of Peace will end up killing you itself. But we have to get you a bit more down than this. Don't draw a monster, please. Even if you draw a monster, as long as Blister isn't stupid, which is asking a lot, Dark Valkyria's effect, whatever monster they summon next turn, didn't even get a monster, even better. I think that means we win. Even if uh, Leo has a monster to summon, we get two Summoner Monk attacks here, as long as that face down isn't like Mirror Force. And then Dark Valkyria destroys the other monster they summon, and then Monk Summoner wins. This has been a very weird tag duel, but we are going to come out on top, chat. Who would have thought that Monk Summoner would have been the premier, or Summoner Monk, rather, would have been the premier battle force here? Oh, and he summoned Dark Valkyria. Good play. Didn't need to go ahead and put the counter on, but that's fine, too. All right, we should have this in the bag. I don't see any way we lose this. Outside of, like, Lightning Vortex and then some other shenanigans. Not Boom Boxing. Oh, dang it. Boom Boxing gets to attack twice. Man, you drew the one Morphtronic that let you destroy both Summoner Monks. I still don't see us losing, but, you know. Blister's dialogue here is atrocious. Now we have to wait a bunch of extra turns. Oh, level up. That does nothing. It's so much harder to get to the good cards in my deck when I only draw every other turn because Blister gets his turn to draw. Well, they've only got 600 life points left. Man, I want to draw like Horus level 6 or Arm Dragon level 5 so bad so that I can just use Wing Beat here. Why? Why? Why waste the effect instead of waiting to see if you could use it on a more dangerous monster? Morphtronic Boomboxin was not going to do anything, and we can't attack anyways. These cards are called Machiners, by the way. I thought they were called Machina for some reason. Am I thinking of a different card archetype? I thought it was supposed to be like Machina Sniper and whatnot. Yeah, see, this is a much more dangerous monster that I wish that we could use Dark Valkyria's effect on, but the AI is stupid. Oh my goodness, I can't draw a monster to save my life. Ugh. I've drawn a spell or trap card like three out of my last like four turns and I can't get anything happening. Bum, 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 bum. This is such a slow end of this duel because of this stupid card. Bum, 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 bum. Commander Covington. Well, they're down to 300 life points. My word, Messenger of Peace is such a boring card. Incredibly boring card. Oh no, your cell phone. Just in your turn, Leo. Let me end this. 
please draw... Oh, my word! Draw a monster! It doesn't even have to be an armed dragon or a horse. Just let me draw a monster on my turn, please. There are 22 monster cards in this deck. I was so excited for Wingbeat of a Giant Dragon to like actually do something only to never draw a monster that would let me use it. My body as a shield. All right, well, I don't think Messenger of Peace is optional. So this is their last turn here. Oh no, it says if you do not, so it is optional. So they'll get one more turn. I've lost before because the AI used Heavy Storm and wiped out my Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute, and Magic Cylinder. That sucks and the AI is bad. But hear me out, why did you have- by the way, I did not draw a monster yet again. Hear me out, why did you have all three of those face down? That's kind of overkill. I don't think there's ever really a reason to put down Mirror Force and Torrential Tribute both, fa uh, both face down for exactly what you just said. Potentially happening. Dragon's Rage will help me. Okay, good trade, I guess. Man, I wish I could have, like, drawn a monster card. Wing beat of a dragon would be so great here. Don't bother playing United Beast Stand. They've, they've got some kind of a trap. Yeah. Oh, hey, Flute of Summoning Kriba. Oh my goodness, it's Wing Kriba. Wait, you didn't summon it in defense mode. Did you throw? Why would you bother using Karibo's effect here instead of summoning Wing Karibo in defense mode? Are you stupid? I mean, you are, but like, what what is wrong with you? Could you imagine how great this deck would be if I had Stamping Destruction in it? I just can't help but feel that like, half of these duels we run into that take this long could easily be mitigated by having Stamping Destruction. By the way, I have once again not drawn a monster for like the five billionth time. Let me let me actually look in here. How many of my monsters are in here? Horus level eight, who was in my starting hand. Mask of Darkness, also in my starting hand, I think. And Dark Valkyrie. I have drawn four monster cards after drawing through 15 cards in my deck. Crazy. I drew over half of my spells and traps before getting to the halfway point of my deck. Hey, I win. Yo, two packs worth of DP though. Exactly enough DP to buy three packs, that's so funny. Now that was fun. How about you, Solo? I mean, like, the first half of the duel was fine. The second half of the duel, you made it a boring slog, you idiot. I'm always stuck with Luna, though, so it's kind of boring. I think Luna's the one that played Messenger of Peace, so yeah, I can see how you'd find it boring. I'm pretty tired of always looking after you. What? You know it's true. Haha, <laughs> you kids sure are something. So, Solo, do you get how tag team duels work? You should think about the tournament, then. Can I team up with Akiza? No partner, huh? Why don't we look around in Diamond? I'm sure we'll find somebody here. Yo, I bet we're gonna team up with Yusei. Right on, let's get to it then, Solo. Who knows, your memory just might come back in a duel too. You can get to the city by going west from Diamond. Do you know the place where the old security guy always is? You should take a look at the stadium. Well, I'm gonna be heading back. See you guys. All right, later, loser. Okay. So, I wonder if I do need to find, like, Yusei or someone to be my partner? Surely they're not gonna have me partner up with one of these randoms. I gotta spin this 450 DP while I have exactly 450. I find it funny. Gamers Tree, welcome to stream. How you doing? Give me three of these. 
see what we get. Whoops. No, wait, I did want that. I'm doing good, just playing some Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, oh, yes, the Insect Queen. You do have to partner with randos? All right, this is a blind playthrough, so, you know, don't just tell me things without me asking for answers, please. You will get timed out. I, you know, would have figured that out on my own and gotten really annoyed at it in the moment. And it probably could have been funny, but instead, chat just told me. So, don't, uh, don't do that. Let's do some structure duels. Duel! Give me Curse of Darkness. We haven't won with this one yet. The starter deck? What a loser. Imagine using the starter deck. I'll have to do that eventually. All right, punk, what you got? Stealth bird? Stealth bird, though. That's really what we're going with here? This is an awful starting hand. Megamorph could be interesting. Dead. Let's see how this goes. Anyways, uh, very lame. Ooh, Junk Warrior? No, Junk Warrior is five stars. Mm, Gaia Knight. That makes sense. This doesn't look too hot for me. Man, double summon. Ooh, okay. This is not looking good at all. I'm going to be able to use Megamorph, though, which might bail me out of this. Ow. Anyways, that's really lame that they don't give you, like, an actual cool character to team up with instead of some random loser. Megamorph! Really counting on that face down not being dangerous. But I need to get rid of this thing ASAP if I can. Spellbinding. Could, could have been a worse face down, but that sucks. Oh well. He can't uh, beat us here now. The problem is, though, is that my Lich Lord is not uh, strong enough to beat Gaia even if I summon him. And another face down. That's worrying. I need to draw something, like, usable. <laughs> Axe Dragonute is good. It's not going to get me out of this situation, but it is good. Get rid of your Sonic Chick, I guess. If you tribute this, it must be uh, the tribute must be dark. If this card is tributed by cards effect and sent to the graveyard, it returns to its owner's hand. Lame. Okay, well, we got rid of the trap hole. Still not in a good spot right now, though. Would be really cool if I could draw a lightning vortex right now. Would definitely help your boy out a lot. Ooh, okay, hello. Diablos, King of the Abyss. You could beat Gaia. This card can't be special summoned. If you tribute, the tributes must be dark. This card cannot be tributed by a card's effect. During your opponent's draw phase, before their draw, look at the top card of their deck, then put that card on the top or the bottom. That is a very funny ability. Uh, I hate to even put Mask of Darkness face down here, because he'll destroy it and I'll get no benefit out of it. Plus, I, I need to draw, like, a trap or something that would let me buy a turn with Mask of Darkness so I could tribute for Diablos. But I'm also still really worried about all these face-downs he's getting. 